Hey girl, hey, it's Oriana Michelle, also known as Ori, and I'm back with another pixie video, but the 90s way. And obviously you clicked on this video to see how I achieved this look, so stay tuned. Sorry y'all, I thought I was fuming, but I'm using the Nairobi Foamy Lotion. through my hair I just came out of a quick weave so I'm waiting like closer to my hair appointment to relax my hair so just a little FYI I'm using this comb two sides the really tiny side and then this side the bigger side so to i'm just basically going back and forth so to comb through my head because my hair is a little thick i'm just using the bigger side to comb it out and i don't think i'm gonna like really frame my face in like the ways that i normally do since my hair is a little longer i think i'm gonna just do like more like longer bangs too much with the little you know the little swirls so let me think I should just go like this yeah because I'm gonna um, flat iron them With no part, and I'm gonna just go like that. And I think I'm going to put more hair to the front, like the longer pieces. Alexa, volume down one. When it comes to this pixie stuff, you really have to concentrate. <laughs> I be so serious. Like, I gotta concentrate. Just smooth the back down. Nothing special. If you watch my previous videos, I always do the same with the back. Just smooth it down. So, this is how the mode is going to go. Rubbing it down. I'm about to take my. You know what? Should just go. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's cool.
Yeah. So I'm gonna take my, what is it, the Rapid Styling Strips Black. These are the thicker ones, so. Got these off Amazon. You can get them off Amazon, you can get them at your local use supply. And it's in my Amazon storefront as well, which I'm going to link below. So, yeah. And I'm not gonna put, usually I'll put like a strip in the middle. I'm probably not gonna do that this time. So, yeah. So like that. I'm always turning it so weird, like, um, I think I can do one more. Not too tight, though. Yeah, that's good. All right, so I'm about to go sit under the dryer for about 30, 35 minutes and I will be back to style. All right, so we're back. This is about, about 35 minutes later. This is what we got. This is the mode. Okay, so we're gonna start styling. I am gonna start with actually good old uh, ultra sheen grease. I'm just going to get a little bit about my hands. Just rub it through my hair. I had jacked up right here. I caught myself cutting my hair like a couple months ago. Jacked it up. So that's why I got this little short piece. But it grows back, so it's like, as you can see. All right, now I am going to take my wax stick. Just use any wax stick that you like. I'm not even gonna put a lot on because I don't like that feel, like that sticky feel. Not really necessary, but yeah. <laughs> take my little bro comb. I don't know where my wide tooth comb at, like my little feather comb, but yeah, I'm gonna break it apart a little bit. Not a little bit, just yeah, it don't matter. Like that. Comb the back out because we're gonna start with the back. Okay, so starting on the back, I'm gonna use my K and K Professional Flat Iron. I forgot um, the inch. It's in my storefront, so you'll see it. I'm gonna start with those because it's much smaller for the back. So let's get started. Only thing about this flat iron, when I have it plugged up for a while, it goes all by itself. I mean, I guess that's a good thing, like if you ever forget. But now I gotta wait on to get hot. So we just don't go with the front at this point. Okay. My hair is really long, jeez. I'm using for the front, I'm using the Ion here. I mean the Ion one stroke flat iron. I got these from Sally's so many years ago, y'all. I don't even remember the inch. So yeah, I don't even know. <laughs> but just use whatever flat iron you like to use. It 
guess I could turn it back up to 400. I had it on 350. Because I'm like, oh, my hair relaxed. And these get really, really hot. Like, I'd be scared I'm going to burn my hair out. But I can do 400 because 350 is a little bit too low. And my hair is not. And I need a. I always start like when I'm starting from the front I always start from the crown of my head only because it's just like with the mold it just seems so weird to when I start from the front I don't know because it's like I always got to move it out the way but I don't know whatever I just do it however I feel, for real. I've been doing this for a long time, so I just go with the flow and it always comes out good at the end. <laughs> You can just like flat iron whichever way you like the mold does the work for you you know what I mean so let me just say that however you mold it so however you mold it it's usually the way you want it to lay when you style it so Yeah, I'm gonna give like Tony Braxton 90s vibe. I've um, been this a little bit more. Hopefully, I like it. I haven't worn it this way in so long. I'm just feeling like this today. Especially with my hair being long. So do y'all think I should cut it? Like not um like cut it back lower? I think I am. I think I am. Especially the back. If I don't do the front, I'm definitely doing the back. But what y'all think? Do y'all think I should? So I'm basically asking for the top. Do y'all think I should cut the top back? I mean, yeah, a little shorter, more shorter, pixie, or we see at the end. Y'all gonna tell me if y'all like the longer bangs or what? I don't be feeling the longer bangs all the time. Sometimes all the time and I haven't been feeling like this in a minute so I'm like why not you know something different for now I feel like in finger ways do be a little easier when um, the hair is 
shorter. Cause look at this. Wow, that's long. That's long, my pixie girls feel me. Like, our long is different from the other people's long. Like, this long. Size much thinner. I think that happened when I don't have a ball spot like it may look like it, but it's just a little thinner on this side. I think it came from these box braids I got. I think last year. I forgot. gonna disturb the um, sideburns. Okay. And we gonna flatten the hair out towards the end too. We gonna wrap the hair, like put a scarf on it. So that way it makes it lay flatter. That's what I like to do. Towards the end. Just letting y'all know. But trust the process. That's always my favorite line. Trust the process. Always. It always looks crazy. Okay, these. Yeah, these should be hot now. Smallest. I'm gonna use it for this part of my ear because the pieces are much shorter. Basically, for the shorter pieces, I go in with the um, the smaller color. I can't find my feather comb. It just combed out with this one. Okay, going in with our camera platinum silkening gloss. Very lightweight. Smells amazing and it gives your hair a shine so it won't be greasy. espresso, a bagel, everything bagel, shower, get myself ready, I have to go to the shop to do makeup, I have a client, and 
me and Hoodie supposed to do a date night tonight, so. Yeah. While this sit on my head, I'm just gonna, yeah, get myself together and get dressed. So, I'll see you guys when I'm done getting dressed. Hey y'all, I'm dressed. This is my hair. I just gotta play around with it. I don't know. I don't know where like that. I think I'm gonna get a girl's this. This is it. I'm gonna make sure I put my accessories on with my ring bracelet. Um, I have these shades. I might wear these shades today. What y'all think? Cute. Okay, right? A little rise and basil. I might do these today. Why not? Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time.